Uh, I just want to first let you know what's going on here in, in Weld County in this uh, Lincoln Day dinner is so very important. I have decided to give my entire speaking honorarium to the GOP of Weld County. Hey. Hey. You should know that Tom is so damn cheap, he didn't offer me any money. So that was. <laughs> I've always wanted to steal a little valor, and I, I feel pretty really, really good about this. All right, so I have one thing that I have become an expert on over many, many years, and I want to talk about that tonight. I have a lot of experience getting rejected by women. I mean, a lot of experience. Now, my wife was was smart enough to, to divorce me, because she's a very smart lady. We're, we're now best of friends. Matter of fact, if only we got divorced sooner, we could have saved our marriage. I've gone on to be rejected by woman after woman after. I've been broken up with. I've heard every, every reason. You know, it's, it's the, it's not me, it's you, John, excuse. I've had that one. It, I'm a very lonely person. I mean, my sex life is so bad that the IRS is, is designating it as a 501c3 charitable organization. I, I asked Sheriff Reams here in Well County to, to put out an Amber Alert for my sex life. He said, no, you can't do that because we, we can only put out an Amber Alert if there's even a small chance of success. So. The reason I'm telling you this is that I have seen what it is to break up. I know breakups aren't easy. I know breakups are hard to do. There's lots of good songs about that. But I am telling you here, and you have had friends who have been in relationships where they needed to break up, where they needed to end that relationship. I am here today to tell you, Weld County, it is time for you to break up with what is going on in downtown Denver and Boulder. It is time for you to find a new man. My job here today is to lay out a case for you that it is crucial for Weld County to become Weld County, Wyoming. Now, if you've had a dear friend who is in an abusive relationship, what do you tell them? Get out of this relationship. Ladies and gentlemen, you are in an abusive relationship with an overpowering, domineering husband who is treating you poorly, and it is time for you to leave. Let me lay out the case here. I was in the car, I tried to write down at least some of the bills I could remember. Now, when you have a spouse who, who won't let you work for a living, I think women have had some of these spouses that will not let you go out and try your own career or try your own business. That's exactly what Boulder and Denver have done to you. Remember, this county is a rich oil and gas county. However, he will not let you go to work in the job that you've chosen. He has put forward a bill and signed it on salary disclosure. I don't know if you've seen the national press on this, but Colorado is one, the only state where employers will not hire workers to work virtually. Why? Because they have to, do, they have to disclose their salary as part of their equity plan. So in the Wall Street Journal, we learn that there's 300, uh, uh, there's I think 300 now employees that are searching for employees everywhere, but not Colorado, including people for the ethical treatment of animals, is looking for a job, looking for an employee, but you can't be from here. Our bad boyfriend has decided the minimum wage is too low and they are working on raising the minimum wage to make it harder for you to get to work. The Family Leave Act that was passed last year will be devastating to jobs, particularly 
in um, the service industries. Our governor did nothing to stop this 1.2% tax increase on every employee. He also refuses, unlike our governor in Wyoming, to stop the $300 a week extra pay enticement not to work. And I don't know if you've noticed this, but ask any teenager. When you pay somebody not to work, they'll be happy not to work. And let's not forget the lockdowns that destroyed the economy, including here in Weld County. It was Weld County that led the revolution against those lockdowns. I am so grateful that there was an example of how to keep businesses open, keep houses of worship open, and let people congregate. What did Polis do? He sent in his thugs from the liquor department, not from Weld County, but from Denver, to scare and harass your citizens into compliance. That's the kind of stuff that started a revolution. You would not be married to somebody, or stay married, if they continually ran up your credit card. If they spent your money and put you into debt, someone would say, you need to get out of this relationship. This legislature last year passed over $690 million worth of tax increases, none of which you got to vote on, Weld County. Not a single vote. This governor has raised your gas taxes without your vote, and he's lying to you. He's saying he's using this money to build your roads. That is not a road bill that he passed. It was an electric car, anti-driving bill, and he's taxing your gas without your permission to do so. He did a Tax Fairness Act, which was raised taxes on every employer by changing the rules of what they're taxed on. He put in a bill for standardized health insurance to start mandating what you need to have as health care. He has put up a property tax increase, changing mill levies. He has said any city can now raise their tobacco products, prices, taxes, or outlaw them completely. And thanks to his environmental work, he has this is what we have. The bill that really got my attention was one that now mandates that employers will need to have a database on how their employees get to work. And it will be their responsibility to reduce single occupant drivers to work. On guns, I can't imagine how many concealed weapons are in this room right now. <laughs> My suspicion is, if we started doing jumping jacks, they'd just start falling to the floor. <laughs> they cannot stand that you care for yourselves and your families. I live in the People's Republic of Boulder. <laughs> you understand, this would be outlawed where, where I live. <laughs> So, I am a criminal in my hometown of Boulder for owning a mean-looking rifle because it has plastic on it. Now, I sued, I'm suing again. The Colorado court said, you know what? Boulder can't do that because we have a law in the books that says cities cannot pass laws above what the state does. It's preemption. This legislature just reversed that. So I will be a criminal yet again in my hometown of Boulder, the same town that says we welcome diversity, the same town that says we want inclusion, that we want tolerance. My daughter goes, went to high school there, and if those things were on the wall, she still got bullied to the point of crying because she comes from a gun family. This is what Colorado is turning into. Forget about red flags and the star, the, the same, uh, what they've done with the background checks. Our gun rights will be erased in this state. I am telling you this because you need to know you're in a really bad relationship. 
I'm not saying the relationship can't be salvaged. There are good people trying to help. But I am telling you, the best way to salvage this relationship and this bad marriage is to be ready to move out of this house and go direct your own life by joining Wyoming. You think I'm joking, I am not. Now here's why, here's why. It is near impossible, not completely impossible, to make this change. In order to do this, and it's been done throughout American history, you need to get Colorado to agree to it, which means you need to get 55% of the people in Colorado to change it in the Constitution because we're one of the rare states that actually has our borders in the Constitution. To change that, we need to convince them. We need to convince the feds that it's something we want to do, and we need to convince Wyoming that it's something we want to do. Now, I'm telling you, I am the governor's wingman in this. There is another man out there who will treat you better, give you the attention you need, allow you to work, and to be your own woman. I think it's time you start seeing somebody else. Now, what happens? What happens if there is a legitimate move to look at going to Wyoming? Not just something on Facebook. What happens if your county commissioners, I don't know, put together a proposal or at least a study committee to find out what the viability of this is? You heard the governor talk about how scared the state of Colorado was when someone made a comment, would you take us? And he <laughs> said, yes, I would. It is time to tell Denver and Boulder, I think we need to see other people. <laughs> if you do this, it doesn't just open up a possibility of a successful divorce, but it opens up a conversation. It opens up something of contrast. Because the war on rural Colorado is real. They hate you. Yeah. They hate that you take care of yourselves. They hate that you own guns. They hate that you know what your gender is by peeking. <laughs> <laughs> you are a danger to them. But also imagine what you do by contrast. Our state is in massive debt. Weld County is the only county in Colorado with no debt. Now, they say they love children. If you love children, you don't put them into debt the day that they are born. That's what you do here in Weld County because you actually love your children. This is a threat to them. You are a threat to them. So I'm here to ask the county commissioners who are here, the people who support <laughs> Weld County, to make a serious look, a blue ribbon commission, not just a radio talk show host silliness, which I made my living on, but an actual look at this. And if you do this, it will start waves around Colorado. I'm not saying do it as a lark. And what happens is it becomes something that other counties want to look at. And before you know it, it draws a contrast between Boulder and America. When we do this, another idea will become very obvious, which is changing borders can happen inside the state as well. There are lots of rural areas that are in counties they don't want to be in. Imagine as Weld County wants to become in Wyoming, if a bunch of unincorporated Boulder County wants to join Weld so that they can 
have jobs and freedom too. What happens throughout the state if people start talking about, I want to be at where I can be free? And we start isolating the communities of craziness. Boulder and Denver and Aspen and Durango and all the rest and expand that. I believe that if we start looking at systematic changes, looking at changing borders, it changes everything and it gives us a black and white. So let me just wrap it up with this. Oh honey, your man ain't good for you. <laughs> it is time, it is time since he is stepping out on you, maybe you ought to step out on him and let, it know, let him know what it feels like. Imagine Colorado without Weld County. Imagine Colorado without the money that is generated by Weld County. It is amazing to me that you bring a lifeblood here from agriculture, oil and gas, and you bring it home to feed the family, and he uses it to go out drinking with his buddies. <laughs> it is time to say, I'm not standing for it anymore. I urge you, to seriously look at and promote the idea of Weld County, Wyoming, because I think it could save Colorado, and that's what we need. Thank you all so very, very much.